Hello. My name is Forrest, Forrest Gump. People usually call me Forrest Gump. I'm sure I don't know why. I went to Vietnam and served the United States of America fighting for democracy. And after I got shot in the butt, I came back to the USA and I served democracy by playing ping pong. I got so good at ping pong, I got invited to Bangkok, Thailand to teach kids and other folks to play the game. In Bangkok, I lived in an apartment that overlooked the Chow Paya Two Bath and Massage Company. Now I'm making videos in which I go down my memory lane. I hope you'll join me. Now, when I was teaching ping pong to kids and other folks, I lived in this Bangkok place right here. It's called the uh, Rang Nam Apartments. And please notice here that this white part is a building in front. It's very close to this parking lot. And it was where I lived is behind here. In fact, it's on soy number two. So here we are at the Chao Paya Bath and Massage Company. Chao Paya number two. And bye-bye motorcycle. We're going to take a little walk down soy number two. And we're gonna sh I'm going to show you exactly where I lived. So here's that white th thing there. You can see the side of it. And there's that girl walking. She likes to walk there, I guess. And actually, uh, maybe I can spin you around here. That says in. That other exit down, way down about here where that motorcycle guy, that says out. So you can go in and out. And you never crash because the in doesn't go out. Now I'm wanting to show you about how you'd walk around here because you can walk right under there and you can get to that Pai Tai Hospital. I saw even a nurse over here once. You can walk right under these cars that are over your head. You can see it there. It's really nice. There's not much traffic. So let's keep going down this Oh my God, we got up on that over uh, thing we want to go down. And, okay, let's be up here. We're going to go in that soy somehow. There it is. That's soy number two. Uh, you know, these yellow lines aren't really there. They're just kind of in the air. Oh boy, let's get there. Maybe we can go a little farther down here. And we can take that. Here, that's soy number two. Can you see that number two right over there? I can't read it, but it should say Soy Si Ayutia. I can see Ayutaya. Yeah, Ayutaya too. Well, let's just get in there. And we're following the soy. And uh, remember, I'm Forrest Gump. And you can call me Forrest Gump. Or we're going down the soy. Hey, I think that's my place where I lived. I'm not sure, but hey, look at that one. I got a story about that tall building, too. Let's keep going. Now, you know, this saw is only big enough for about two cars. Well, one car, really, but... Let's go back here. Here's my Rang Nam apartment. And I just want to show you this. It says here Rang Nam. And this is English. It looked like Thai. But it's really English. It said apartment. Okay. Here's the entrance to it. Uh, here you go. Rang Nam apartment. It's only about $200 a month. It's probably still about $200 a month. You don't have to pay these crazy $200 a day monies to live in Thailand. You can find it cheaper. You can even find cheaper than $100 a month in Bangkok. And the way to do that is go walk in the soys. Don't use those maps. Crazy maps give you those uh, hotels that 
internet you can reserve them all that it, it, that's losing money okay this guy about 10 floors you can count them here count them by twos even two four six eight eight and a half I'm a little confused I used to be able to count by twos and I lived in uh, uh, probably one of these windows right there so that's where I lived and let's continue down this soy now and let's go and we're heading towards this soy maybe about 300 meters long or something and I'm not sure what that building is that might be the that big one that I have a story about so let's get out into the Rangnam Street this is actually called Rang Rangnam Street and that Rangnam Apartments was about halfway between Rangnam Street and Siayute uh, uh, Street and now here you can see some kind of pharmacy or something it looks like pharmaceutical supply company here's a little van it can get you from Bangkok to Pattaya oh sorry it's Pattaya well, I'll talk about that later people you say it wrong and let's go down we're heading down this street you notice it's got two-way traffic they coming at you and you're going in the right lane here's like a soy that dead ends that's a little like a cul-de-sac or something like that and uh, here's a Tesco I don't know what that is sounds familiar and here's look at that you can eat on the street eating on the street is the best deal and the best food uh, I don't think that there I can see it dead ends right there at a watch the guard station so let's keep going down here I want to show you something else remember we're on uh, uh, Tanam Tanam? no that's not right Tanal Tanal uh, Rangnam or they call it Soy Rangnam and I don't know the name of this apartment but I used to live here I lived here until it got so noisy. There, see this building? You might think that's part of this building. No, this has only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight store rays. And this building, I lived in here for three months. Then they started making this building right behind it, which I kind of showed you in the soy. I wasn't sure what it was. Um, I lived in there three months. This is air conditioned, also about two hundred dollars a month. And this building this starting building that you wouldn't believe how noisy that was. It shake the whole head off of the people and give them headaches. So I moved to that uh, Rangnam Apartments. This should be called Rangnam Apartments because it's right on Rangnam Street, but they didn't. Now I'm gonna go down here a little more before I end this video today. And I show you here's another saw here. I think you can actually get into that, and we might have time today. Hey, look at this! I have a real good story about this place. I know you think it's another massage parlor. You can see the girls getting their massage, and it's called Rang Nam Spa and Massage. Well, I'm telling you, when I lived there about a million years ago, this used to be a gem store. And you remember that fruit company that I bought called something like Apple? I actually went in there, and there was a big guy from Apple. I saw his business card. I can't remember his name. It was Steve something. And he was in there in about 1990, and he was buying gems. But th this gem place was overpriced. And that's why I probably went out of business and became a became a Rang Nam Spa and Massage. Isn't that amazing? There's two other massage places in this neighborhood that I might mention. But I want to mention where there were some nice places to eat. And they're, they're called like sidewalk restaurants. And, um, you know, I'm trying to show you a little park here. It might be best to go in the up and look down at it but there used to be vendors here to and and you go in there and there were all sorts of shanty places 
and they, of course, the government tore them all down. But inside that place, and it was kind of a soy here, you could buy the best uh, kai in the world. It was so delicious, and they'd have like a hundred people eating there at once. And it's just like a little shack. And I love that. That's where you get the best thing. If you go look at the stuff on the internet, you're going to see around here all these expensive restaurants. But th this is where the Thai ate. The Thai people know a lot. And I want to tell you one thing about this. Let's just go down the street a little farther. I want to tell you there was a school on the street where the little baby kids went. And it's gone now. Things change a lot in uh, just 30 years or so. And we're heading down Soi Rang Nam. And I'm not going to find much here. It's all new to me. There's a real funny building. I Hey, is that Farmer's Bank? I think that's Farmer's Bank. That's still there after 25 years. Is it Safe Farmers Bank? I can't see, but I am really surprised to find that, and I'm surprised to find that massage place. And the school was around here, but now look at what they turned the school into. It's now some kind of nuclear reactor. I, I just can't figure this out. It's got these bunnies out in front. I don't know what that is. It wasn't there when I lived in there. I used to walk all around here because I love to walk. And uh, let's just dead end in uh, Pai Tai Road. Oh, here's a place to go. We can explore that. Okay. What's this? Going into something. I don't know about that. Let me just go to PT Court. You'd probably find cheap housing in there. Is this Pai Tai Road yet? No, it's another soy. Going down here, I think I can find this. Might be Pai Tai Road up there. Let's see what's going. Yeah, it's oh, by the way, I didn't mention about the Sky Train. It's called a BST or MRT or something. Like. It was none of that was there when I lived there. This sign probably says Soi Rangnam or something. Let's try to read it. Tanon Rangnam. Here's the word Tanon Rang Rangnam. Well, Nam, you know, is water. Eat him. Eat am R. I know that wasn't there when I was there. Here's your Pai Tai Road, and I don't know if I can find the sign for it. Let's just a quick try. This will be a long video. I kind of want to do this next time. This is really Pai Tai Road, and it, it was so busy, it was like you couldn't even cross it. And, uh, well, let this quick go down to see a UTI. Oh, so blurred and all that. Oh, look at that traffic. Well, Bangkok's got traffic, that's all. It's, you gotta know that. And... Look at that traffic. But you can walk on these nice streets. On the sidewalk. Here's a 7-Eleven. Isn't that nice? Just like home. Traffic, just like home. And this is that. Maybe we can find one of the metro stations here. The Pai station we already passed. Uh, of the uh, Sky Train. And what's these signs say? Ra There's that rush of rock, rock that I, I can't even pronounce. And uh, it, it is a big road. It's got two names, by the way. It changes its name at, at uh, Soy uh, uh, Tanan uh, Siayuti. It changes its name for some reason to something like Racha Damrit. And uh, hey, there's some people walking. See, they walk. Not everybody rides a car. And I'm right at this corner here. Here, there's the Bio Tower. You see it up there? There's the Bio Tower. Maybe I'll do a quick exit here if I can. 
Wow. So, here's the child by math and massage place. Well, I was trying to say some of the people lived in my apartment building, the girls that worked there lived in my apartment building, but some of them lived near by Oak Tower. And why can't I find by Oak Tower? There's your old by Oak Tower there, the tallest building in uh, Thailand for sure at that time, and I think still is. There's some real nice apartments around here, and by in fact, in that building, there's apartments. That's where the real good massage girls live, and the ones that were popular, and the ones that weren't so popular lived uh, in say uh, uh, Rangnam apartments. You know, they're cheap. Those things could be five hundred dollar a month in uh, near by Oak Tower, in by Oak Tower. And yeah, ding dang, that's not there. So let me end this right now. And I'll see you next time. This is Forrest Gump signing off.